हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू माई चैनल दैट इज उडू फॉर बिगेनर्स टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन यूज केस इन परचेज रिगार्डिंग परचेज डिपार्टमेंट इन एवरी ग्रोइंग बिजनेस टीम नीड्स टू रिक्वेस्ट दी मटीरियल्स वैदर इट्स रिगार्डिंग टू प्रोडक्शंस मेंटेनेंस और फॉर डेली ऑपरेशन बट विदाउट प्रॉपर सिस्टम दोस्ट बी गेट लॉस्ट दैट डिलेड और मिसकम्युनिकेटेड in this session we will check how to handle the internal material purchase request with udu standard and with approval app a clear and efficient way to create the request for approval and how that approved request can converted into that rfq so here we will without wasting the time let's jump to the database and let's understand what the use case is that here using that approval app we can set the multi layer hierarchy in this session i am going to discuss for three hierarchy first the users manager second my account department and third one is my purchase department you can set the multi layer hierarchy also so i have already created the users for that okay this is my user who will create the request this is my employee of that users and third one is my purchase manager and fourth one that account manager okay these are hierarchy i am going to set i have already logged in through that users so everything will be cleared and you can find the exit way okay if you will open this employee let me check the employee for that so here you can see that this is the manager let me open that manager yeah you can see that the pp is the manager now what i am going to do we are going to walk into that database so let me open my approval app this is my approval app and in the configuration you can see the options for approval types i am going to create the approval type for internal material purchase request so what i am going to do create internal material purchase request okay this is the thing we can add the same description over here now think is that approval type here you can see that create rfq is we want automated and this code i am going to add that ird whatever you want you can add over here okay now here you can see that fields now for any purchase request of course you know that the product and quantity both are mandatory so these are the required and now this is very important to set that multi level hierarchy if you want three we can if you want two you can now this is my first hierarchy that do you want the approval from users manager if yes then we have to make it is approval we can make it that mandatory also now this is the second hierarchy that which user will approve the next okay i want to make it that account okay i have mentioned that and if you want to make it the mandatory then we can make it the mandatory and last one is my purchase so here the purchase manager is the required approval and this is my minimum approval is one okay here just this is my of course three okay now waiting three and this configuration is set now let me create the internal material purchase request from the user sites so what we are going to do so for that let me go to the dashboard this is already occupied the kanban view and just click on that new request any departments users will create the request from this just going to click and this request owner is i'm just going to make it as a test one here is the user of any department now here he has the requirement for finished product yeah this is mandatory because based on that also my 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 uh, system will create the rfq okay now what happens this is the done and he has the requirement of that pre finished one this is the product and just he is going to click on that submit it so here you can see that the status will be changed from to submit to submitted now as i have mentioned that first hierarchy for manager of that employee that is nothing but the pps and i already logged in through that pps so what he she has to do in approvals and here you can see that approvals to review this is just created with irt001 and here you can see that approve and refuse so just let me approve it this first level approval is done second one is by the account manager so just let me approve and here you can see that the approve refuse and withdraw three options are already there and if you want to attach any documents you can now this second for my accountant so here you can see that i have logged in through that accountant and i'm going to the approval let me make it the bigger so it will be clear 
and now the managers and approvals to review here you can see that already first approval is done so it will be recorded in the chatter now this is the approval by my accountant so here you can see that now let me just approve it now he has options for the withdrawal also now second approval level approval is also done and let me go through the third was my purchase i have already logged in through that and here you can see that the managers approvals to review and this is the thing here still it is in submitted okay now if this is the last approval if he approved it the status will be changed from submitted to approved so now this request is approved so that user is able to create the rfq for that request so let me just go to that back now here let me refresh it now here you can see that we are getting the options now that user will getting the options for create the rfq you will just create click on that create the rfq and rfq will be create and here you can see that that is already linked with my this request also and if we will open that that rfq is generated and the next process will be as expected so this is the thing that it's based on our requirement we can set the hierarchy if we want this hierarchy of four five that is also possible this is udo standard no any customization no any code you can try from your sides and let me know if something is different just different requirement we are happy to assist you thank you